Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is 6.30 in the morning. I was looking at my block folio as I woke up this morning. Uh, just to take a look and see what happened with XRP last night after I, I, I kind of did a prediction of where it was going to go. Um, I, I did tell you, um, trading cryptocurrencies is you have to have, you have to know, you have to have the due diligence. The reason why is you, you, you got to trade with the swings. If you do swing trading, it's a lot easier to make money that way than it is if you, you know, start planning and reading the chart and doing all this difficult stuff. Uh, because that's how I started uh, with the difficult stuff. And as you can see here at uh, today's 1120, 6.22, uh, I sold my order. So I had my order to sell yesterday uh, and I bought it at 97.01. So I bought it as far low as right here. Okay, so I had a feeling it was going to touch here yesterday in the video that I made. And as you can see, this was the previous low. Uh, a previous low. That's why I marked it to, to buy here. And as you can see, it touched it at um, 2.30 this morning. And it went even lower than that. And then what did I tell you? As soon as it hits here, I said here, but it did here. As soon as it here, it whooped, skyrocketed, and now it's here. And now look what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think is going to happen again? Swing trading. One, two, three, four, five, six. What, is, what do you think is going to happen next? It's most likely it's going to go up. Down. That's right. Down to seven. Seven. This is a swing trade. So making money while the market is bad. It doesn't matter the percentage of how much the coin is down because no matter what it's always going to be traded okay period now it could go consistently down but look at the volume it is 32,000 bitcoins there's a lot of volume ladies and gentlemen somebody sold massive amount of it uh, uh, at around 2 30 in the morning and now it's going back up and now it's it's going to do another swing trade so where do you think it's going to go in your prediction from the video I made yesterday, where do you think the coin's going to go? Okay, How many times has it touched the previous low? One, two, three, and it almost touched it four here. Okay, so that, what, what do you think it's going to go? What do you think it's going to go? I'm putting my money that it's going to hit here again. Eventually, it's going to go down, and it's going to touch around 90... I want to say 97. 9702 is what I bet it on yesterday. 9701 is what I bet it on yesterday. I have a feeling it's going to hit 9706. Okay, so I'm going to put my buy order at 9706. Uh, actually, you know what? I may even go a little higher. The reason being, the reason being, it didn't get, it got that low just because of massive, one massive seller, but it got pumped right back up and then it touched a previous low here which was 98.19. So I'm just gonna look at the orders, where the support is going to be. 10,000 is a support line. I don't wanna go that high because that's pretty much right where it's at right now. I think it's gonna get lower than that. I may hit 98.16. So I'm gonna put a buy order, stop limit. And I'm just gonna hit any button for now. And then I'm going to put my buy order at the previous low. Uh, which was 98.19, so I'm going to put 98, 98.18, I don't know why I did that, 98.19, and then 98.18, and then I'm going to put 100%, and bye. Okay, so... When the price drops below 98.19, I'm telling the system to buy that many XRP at 98.18, okay? And then I just place order, and that's it. Okay, so I got my order, open orders here, and I'm, I'm not even on the screen. I'm way below here, but I'm telling you, there's a reason why I'm doing this. There it is right there. Hold on, we got, you're going to see it. You're going to see it, the reason why I'm doing it. Oh, there's people, 95. Somebody got it going as far as now as ninety five hundred. I may take that bite because <laughs> it touched here yesterday, uh, this morning. Excuse me, that far down, and I can make more money 
betting there than to lose money. Because if I go with 9,500, it touched here how many times? One, two, three, and it could hear here again. Why wouldn't it? It's done it before. So, and it, I'm betting that this person that's got 15 Bitcoins at 9,500, uh, I wish I could scroll down more. It won't allow me to. Well, you could do it if you can't scroll down. There we go. 31 Bitcoins at 9,000. At 9,000, 31 Bitcoins. So somebody got it at it's going as far down as here. That's the low of yesterday. Wow. That's the low of yesterday. They, they got it going this far low, which it did touch here. Uh, looks like twice, but this was a steady left to right. So I won't count that. I count that as one. And this is two. So it did touch here. I don't know if I want to go that far low. Okay, I may go as far low as 93 because it touched here twice, you know, maybe 93, 93. That's my buy order. Uh, but I already have it at 98, 19. So I got my buy order right here, okay, which I'm comfortable with because I think it's going to hit here and then it's going to shoot up. Now, it could hit 9,500. I may change it to 95. Let me do that now. <laughs> Let me do that now. Uh, 9,500. 9,499. 100%. And purchase. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> there we go. So I got my buy order even lower than that. The reason it is, <clears throat> there's a lot of seat, right? 98.50. That's where we originally had it on right here. Look. And somebody has it there. A 98.50. Wow, okay, that's that's not a bad idea, but let's see what the sell-off is doing too, because we want to know how much how much people are selling off around when it gets really, really high. Uh, it may, because it's right here around 10,200, you get about seven Bitcoin. When it gets to 10,200, right around here, you should see a massive drop. Now, this person that did this, I'm sure they weren't here. They, their money wasn't even shown the, as them selling it. I think they just logged right in and sold it immediately. And that's when you see that price drop. Boom. Just like that. That's what that, that's what occasionally does happen. Look at 11,800. You got 45 Bitcoin, 27, 24 Bitcoin. Massive amount of selling off around 11,000 and change. Okay. But I'm a swing trader. Okay. One, two, three, four, five six and here comes the drop now how far will it go that's that's what we're going to find out and you can see the yellow okay this is the yellow uh seven day okay the yellow seven day is is going to it's about to cross over the 25 day purple okay so that's what happened here if you look at the rsi okay look at this okay this is this is sell off and then look at this massive sell off okay now it's, it's at a low it's a possibility because it's starting to shorten the sell-off. This this purple is it looks like it's going to about to climb over. When that happens, that means it's buy time. Okay, that means it's going to see some green candles. Uh, that's a possibility that that may happen uh, before before the massive drop. So I may want to not put my buy order that low, uh, which is at ninety four ninety nine. I got a buy order going way the hell down here, okay? Way down here. This is where my buy order is, give or take. Okay, why would I, why don't I want to go here? I'll tell you why. Because if you look at the volume, seven Bitcoins is the most right here at 10,200. How far do you think that's going to go? You know, I have a feeling that as far as it's going to go is maybe right here. And then it's going to bounce back up. Why? Because there's a lot of support. Okay. There's a lot of support. Right here. Look at that. 10 Bitcoins at 99.25. So 99.25, which is right over here. Man, these guys. Hmm. See, this is this is where you have to make the decision. But as you can see in my, in my trade history, uh, this is how you've been. I've been winning. Just putting in trades like this. I mean, one coin. As you can see in the past two days. And today just started. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, I made some profit. You know, this is my gains. Okay. 
uh, excuse me, total, and then uh, this is the fees and how many have failed. So I was able to buy less, sell less, sell, sell, and then I'm <clears throat> making more XRP. So I'm making XRP uh, with, with these trades, okay? Now, knowing that, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? <clears throat> how far? See, I know it's going to go down, but how far? How far? I mean, this is where I'm confused. Trading is not never easy, you know, when you're making decisions. Because you're looking at where the support is. I mean, is there a lot of support? If there isn't a lot of support, then the coin can go down. It can keep dropping, dropping, dropping. I mean, five five big coins is not a lot of support. You know what I mean? Compared to like six or seven or eight that they have. There's another five here. You know, and then you look at the depth chart. The depth chart will tell you. is Look at this. This is a lot of buy orders in right now. But look at this wall here. That is at 10,100. This buy order is about 10,000. So the buy order is at 10,000. Let's look at 10,000. Uh, here we go. That's right over here. There we go. That 10,000 is five Bitcoins right here. That's what this wall right here consists of. Okay. That's five Bitcoin. Okay. So if this was to get down to 10,000, it'll shoot up. I mean, the buy order is a lot more. Uh, as you can see here, look at the mount wall the mountain. I mean, the mountain, 10,200. 10, it's going to drop. I mean, you can't make a decision just on the depth chart because this thing is moving rapidly. So much volume. I mean, it is going up and down, up and down, up and down. Because so you got to make your due diligence. If you're going to be trading this way without, you know, writing or reading the charts, you have to make the decision. Where is it going to go? How far is it going to go? How far is it going to go? Um, let's see here. I may go right back to my previous 97. Okay, I may go back to my previous 97. Ah, I just don't know. <laughs> because it is climbing, you see? It is climbing, you know? Yeah, just it was a massive sell-off, but it still bounced back. And now it's possibly it could go down. How far down? How far down, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to go with, you know what? I'm going to go with my last call, okay? I'm going to go with my previous 97... 27. Uh, let's see here. Just to make sure. 10,010. 10, 97, 99, 99, 97, 96, 97, 99. Somebody, somebody got 94, 43. I want to see 9,500 again. If it shows it. 85. Wow. 85. So there's about 30 something Bitcoin. 8,500. It just showed up down there. I'm just scrolling down in hopes that I can see it again. So, yeah, I'm leaving my order. Yep, I'm leaving my order where it's at because somebody has it going down even further, which is crazy. Uh, but they may know something we don't know. They These people did the work. A lot more, not all of them, but a majority of them already priced the chart. They did the Fibonacci retracement. They've done the trending analysis. They've done all this good stuff. And technically, you don't necessarily have to know everything. Uh, it, you are, in a sense, kind of chancing it. But if you know how to read the swing trading chart, then you know that it's being what? Oversold right here, okay? Not necessarily oversold because this is oversold right here. And then when you see this, you knew it was going to go down once you'd seen this. You knew, and it did go down. It's being uh, massively sold here, and now it's what? The, the sell-off is starting to lose its momentum. That's why you see the volume here. That means being oversold, okay? And now you should start seeing some green candles and this thing go up. But, but I, I have a feeling it's going to go down before that. that. Now, how far down? I got my bet, bid at 95, so I'm, I'm saying right around this area here. I might, I might be too far-fetched, though. I'll be honest with you. Um, I, I, I would be more comfortable here at 97.23. I'd be more comfortable because it's been here a few times. Okay, that's, that's where I'd be more comfortably uh, buying it here. Because I don't think it's going to get that much lower. 
because there's a lot of support. So let's look at, look at the sell off. There's a lot of selling going to happen. I just want to look up at a massive sell off. You know, here we go. There's a one higher than that. Uh, 10,300. I've seen one way more than that. It looked like it was a double digit Bitcoin. The Bitcoin is on the right here. This is the amount of XRP. This is where you want to look at when you when you're looking at how many people are selling or how much how much is a sell off. <clears throat> because in Bitcoin that's huge, you know. When you start looking at these amounts, like you got four, three Bitcoin here. Uh, that's significant. You got seven Bitcoin here. Okay, being sold off. <clears throat> As you can see, it's starting to drop. It's starting to do the dance. There we go. It's ninety-two Bitcoin. Ninety-two Bitcoin. It just showed up. Twelve thousand. 67 bitcoins at 12,000 right there. Okay, and there's another one 13,054 bitcoin. So they, these people are not selling it down here. Why? Because they know it's, 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 it's a possibility going to go up. Okay, but somebody might come in with the phantom cell. He, has, he hasn't logged in yet. It is 6 46 in the morning. He sees that it's this high. He may sell it a massive sell just like this guy did. Why? Because eventually they're gonna, they're gonna make their money once it drops, buy back again and do the same thing over and over again. This technically is what you're doing uh, if you're listening to what I'm doing. And this, if you look at my trade history, this is what's been working. I'm just trading one coin right now. Only reason why I'm trading this one coin is because it's, it's the volatility is it's crazy. Okay, let's go look at Bitcoin really quick. Uh, Bitcoin has has went it's went down even further. Yesterday I said this is a good buy point. It even it did get down this low. It bounced back up. So if you would have bought here, you would have made a little bit of money. I think a hundred and something dollars. But now it looks like it's dropping again. Uh, so the support level is the previous low, which is about right here. Okay, so let's look at it's twenty seven thousand. I, don't, I like to look at the Bitcoin here. This is the dollars. This is the Bitcoin. <clears throat> Let's look at where the next support level is. All right, 45, 45, 52. Right here, 19 Bitcoin at 45.26. So 45.26 is the next support line. Yeah, it's right, right around where I told you. Give or take, right around this area here. Uh, so they have a feeling it's going to come down here, and this it just should bounce back up again. Uh, so if you have your coins in Bitcoin, so you just your gain just by holding your Bitcoin uh, rather than trading it to U.S. dollars. Now, if you want to make money, you can you can sell your BTC right now, you know, and wait for it to drop even lower, and then buy back in, you know. Uh, but I don't trade BTC on this on this chart because it's too volatile right now. Uh, I've never seen it go this low as well. So, but you can still make money here, like anything else. Uh, as you can see, the volume is dying out. You're gonna start seeing it go green. That's what this means. And if I'm looking at all this right here, this right here, it's telling me it's about to go green. Now, it may only go this much green, but that's still an opportunity to make money. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, it looks like it's gonna drop down. So I would put my money. At 45, right where that guy is here. 45. Uh, oh, this guy got 201 Bitcoin at 4,000. Yow. They, they, they really got it going even lower. That's, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. But it uh, doesn't mean that they're going to get it at that price, you know. Forty-one Bitcoin at forty-six hundred. This is what happened when Wall Street gets in and the ETF. I mean, they start uh, shorting the coin. There's so much shorting of Bitcoin right now, and this is why it's been dropping in value like this in the FUD. The rent. This is where the poor people are selling. The poor people are selling here, and when the poor people sell here, the rich buy. Okay, and and it's going to continue to do this until. The, all the poor people don't have any more Bitcoin. And what's going to happen after that? The rich people are going to call each other up and say, hey, um, we got all the Bitcoin now. 
let's pump the shit out of this thing. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see Bitcoin go, whoop. L listen, I know a lot of people don't like listening or they think, oh, this is bal baloney what you're talking about. Watch it. I'm telling you right now, it is November 20th, 2018. If you sell all your Bitcoin right now, you're a fool. I'm telling you right now. That being said, this is my opinion and my opinion only. Uh, let's go back to XRP. Uh, this is XRP USDT. That's the wrong one. We want to go to BTC. There we go. Ah, there we go. It's starting to drop, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, keep going. Like I said, it might go here. And this is where I originally wanted to go, but I went even lower. So I'm willing to risk it going to 95. So that's why I put it there. Let's look at my order history. 9,500 is a trigger. It'll buy a 94.99. I'm comfortable right around this area uh, to buy in. And then once it gets on here, I'm going to wait for it to shoot up and then I'll sell. And I'll do this over and over again. And then your Bitcoin will start to climb. Okay. You'll start to see your Bitcoin climb. So other than that, happy trading, ladies and gentlemen. If you've listened to anything I said yesterday, um, you would have made some money today. Okay. If you listen to anything I'm saying today, there's a possibility you make some money tomorrow. So uh, happy, happy Tuesday. Enjoy your week. Um, I'm going to update everyone on my the programs that I've been promoting. Uh, I'll probably make another video later on today. So uh, for those of you that do, stay tuned. I appreciate you. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye-bye.